Hey, what is good guys? John here and welcome back to the channel. Now, we have some good news here with NHTSA. I know we've heard a lot of news lately with them involved, but this time around, I think you guys are going to be very stoked for this. They did give us the approval for the Matrix LED. Now, what this means for the rest of the lineup, which has the Matrix LED already pre-built inside, that includes the Model 3s and Model Ys. Those are going to be enabled very soon. Now, if you guys don't know much about Matrix LEDs and all the possibility it brings, go check out a video on YouTube now unfortunately up until this point we've never got it in the States just because of NHTSA and Transport Canada and I'm going to talk about Transport Canada in a little bit here because I am up in Canada and what does it mean for the rest of us up north here are we going to be getting it as well or not now like I said guys on the other side of the continent you're gonna see a lot of German manufacturers and Japanese manufacturers even that are including the matrix LED system within their head Headlights. So while driving down the dark road, you're going to see that the LEDs turn on and off at different sections. It doesn't just do what current Teslas do at the moment where it just turns off the high beam and turn it back on. It uses a little bit more logic and a little bit more thinking here and only shuts off the parts of the LEDs that are really required. So ultimately what this means is that you can leave your high beams on all the time and it will automatically turn on or off depending on the traffic. If there's a car, if there's a speed sign, if there's something along that line, you're going to see it react to it. Now, it's obviously going to be so much better than halogen. I know that's pretty much extinct at this point, but you do have LEDs that don't do anything other than turn off and on. So this is going to be a big departure from that. If you guys haven't never driven one before, trust me, guys, it's so good. I got a chance to try out the Matrix LED in a lot of different cars, including Mercedes and Audis. And wow, they are so amazing. Um, they can beam the light in front of your car right on the ground in a different patches now I'm gonna give you guys an example on the screen here what I mean but hopefully you guys will be able to try this for yourself once Tesla enables this so there is a humongous list of things that it can do I'm not gonna list it all in this video here but that's pretty much that and uh, now let's just talk about NHTSA and then Transport Canada what's up and how are we moving along with this all right so pretty much NHTSA has just approved it so any manufacturer can literally just flip on the switch right now or if they are just building a brand new car Car, they can just build it right into the car if they're not like Tesla. Um, this is the benefit of owning a Tesla. They can literally just push out a software update and you have the Matrix LED right in your Tesla Model 3 or Model Y. Now, unfortunately, nothing has been said about Transport Canada. They pretty much make up the rules up here in the north. So if you don't hear anything from them, most likely we're not going to get this feature. But most of the time, guys, I do think that Transport Canada or just Canada in general follows everything about the states. Anything about Biden does or anything the country does we pretty much follow and that's just how things have always been unfortunately and if NHTSA is enabling this I can't find a single reason why Transport Canada wouldn't now there are a couple features that I am happy that Transport Canada did not follow along and that has to do with the boombox feature that was recently announced uh, a recall and that's gonna be removing some of these cool noises that come out of your Tesla's external speaker Transport Canada did not say anything about that so there's a chance, a glimpse, that we are still going to be getting to keep those cool features. So yeah, in terms of the headlight situation, I don't think Transport Canada is going to get that done this week or next week. But most likely, within the month, they're going to go alongside NHTSA. And they're going to make it so we will get the Matrix LED up here. It's a very needed. You know, up in Canada, there is so much land. There's so many places with darkness, forest, and there is no city light. So this system is going to be fantastic. It's definitely needed here. So yeah, anyway. Anyways guys, this should pretty much be it for this video. I am super excited for this to arrive. Can't wait. I do have both my car with the Matrix LED. If you guys don't know if you have it or not, walk up to your car right now, look inside the bulb, and if you see that there is an oval or circular thing on the side of the headlight, uh, you guys do have the Matrix. And if you don't, fortunately, there might be a retrofit coming soon, so wait out for that. But anyways guys, this should wrap it up for this one. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that subscribe button right up top there. And once again, this is John. Peace out.